Vida. It's all about you. Hello everyone, it is my great privilege to introduce to you the new Vida operating system from Hisense. Vida is an open operating system running on smart TVs manufactured by Hisense and sold under the Hisense, Toshiba and several OEM brands globally. It supports a more natural way of interacting with the large screen. We focus mostly on content and services rather than just applications and technology. It embraces the idea that the TV experience is about providing engaging, entertaining and informative video sounds and pictures to the viewer while requiring him to use as little steps as possible to access them. Vida is both global and it is local. We're partnering with the best content providers from over 120 countries where we are present. And we cherish long-lasting relationships with global players like Netflix, YouTube and of course Prime Video. Vida is the next generation of smart TV operating systems and the most crucial point of contact for the end consumer when she starts up the TV and enjoys what it has to offer. It provides content partners with a completely new and unique way of promoting their content and bringing it much, much, much closer to the end user, getting them to engage with it more frequently and above all, more in depth. It extends beyond the screen to the most unique remote controls in the market, following the same philosophy of fast, direct and easy access to content that is, first of all, exciting, easy and definitely fun. Though clean in its looks and simple in its usability, Vida is definitely high-tech. It supports, you know, state-of-the-art technology like voice control and universal platform search. It goes beyond the screen to integrate smart home appliances utilizing Hisense's advanced IoT solutions gathered under the Connect Life umbrella of services, allowing for easy interaction with your entire smart home. Vida is about the users. It's about you. It puts technology in the back and brings forward a friendly way of interacting not only with your TV, but with your entire home. Vida, it's all about you. At Hisense, we understand that customers expect more than just a high quality product. That's why we are proud to introduce Vita, a truly global platform you can seamlessly navigate through. It offers the most compelling library of content, combining the best from the premium global providers and local markets all around the world that you can explore through the ultimate user experience and customizable remote control. Vita U4 is the first iteration of the new approach to UI design. Gathering content recommendations from all content providers enhances discoverability and enables you to get what you want when you want it. User-friendly design makes browsing through the content possible in just a few simple steps through one-click access or through voice search and control. Meanwhile, one account approach makes content purchases and the whole experience a true breeze. Vida is the answer to people's interactions with their screens since it focuses on content and services. Its state-of-the-art technology enables easy access to the content which is organized in four sections. We take care of the music aficionados and partner with the most comprehensive music libraries in the world, available in all countries where Vida is present. Art lovers will adore Art Mode, where we partnered with the largest provider of original digital arts in the world in order to transform your screen into your own gallery of masterpieces. And diehard sports fan will find all they desire in Vita Sports. From the best football matches for the football fans to extreme cliff diving for the adrenaline seekers among them. But there is an even bigger picture. Vita is there for you throughout the day, since it integrates smart home appliances utilizing Hisense's advanced IoT solutions gathered under the Connect Life services and makes interaction with your entire smart home easy. It therefore makes for your best daily companion from the time you wake up to enjoyable evenings with your loved ones. Vita, it's all about you. So this is the Vida operating system that is currently rolling out globally. It's called Vida U4. It's the fourth iteration of Hisense's operating system that has been out in the market since 2014. The main feature when a customer is pressing the home button, 
This is the home launcher. It actually has 14 large tiles that allow the prominent placement of up to 13 or 14 applications. All others are inside the My Apps section. One of the main features of the user interface is that it exposes content rather than applications. Let me show you. Whenever you were to highlight an application which is on the top row of our launcher, immediately on the top of them, you would get direct access to the content that is recommended by that application themselves. We do the same thing for all the applications that are on our system. When you go on top of it and you click on a specific piece of content, you get straight to it. All the content is not only presented with metadata, but actually direct linked to that specific piece. As you can see here, I've gone straight to How I Met Your Mother, season four, episode seven, the last one that I've watched. When you move what we call below the fold, when you scroll below the main launcher, you see content panes. We call them content carousels. Inside of those, again, we are recommending content that is hidden inside of the application. As I've said, the philosophy behind Vida is to make sure that the amount of clicks that are required for users to access the content that they love and want to consume as small as possible. So here again, we're doing recommendations straight from Preview Play. We do some recommendations right now of COVID-19. We do recommendations from YouTube. We've got top picks of the best movies out there from various content providers. And all of them, like I've said, are linked directly. So when you click on a piece of content, you get straight inside of that piece of content and you're able to consume it. Whenever a customer is starting up his Vita TV, he creates a Vita account. We make sure that regardless of how many TVs are inside of the household, the Vita account settings are transferred among TVs or when you buy a new TV, you want all the settings to stay with you. We allow that with the Vita account. As I've explained, all the partners are integrated with metadata, which means that we have access or at least we know what is inside of the entire library of all content partners that are on our platform. As we have that, we allow for universal search across the platform which means that we are able to search the libraries of all of our content partners, reducing the amount of clicks that is required for users to access the content that they like so much. Apart from the user interface, all smart TVs that have Vita on it come with a special remote control. The remote control follows the same philosophy of allowing the end consumer to use as little actions as possible to access the content they love. All remote controls have four global content partners on them with just one click access. Apart from that, we also have two additional buttons that allow for integration of local content partners. So we have different remote controls for different parts of the world. In some cases, we actually have local remote controls localized down to a specific country. We have a remote like that, for instance, in Russia. We've got one in Italy. We've got one in the US. We've got one in Canada. And we have one for Australia as well. Vida also supports the use of smart home assistant, so you don't even have to use a remote, you can use your voice. Let me show you. Alexa, open the BBC iPlayer on Smart TV. Getting BBC iPlayer from the An assistant integration doesn't stop there, you can also use it to control your smart home and various, various other functions. We are all aware that most of content consumption is in fact local. That is why Vida is both global and local. We say that it is Glocal. We've taken a very, very, very strong approach towards finding the best content partners from various parts of the world. As you can see, this is the user interface, for instance, from the UK. In the UK, we provide the most prominent placement to, of course, the global players from that region. We've got the BBC iPlayer, ITV Hub, Channel 4, My5, and so on. We've also integrated a whole bunch of additional local applications in here as well. We've got CBS, Ketchup, Horabytes. All of these applications are, of course, local. We do the same type of approach in other markets as well. Let me show you. So we've switched the setting from the UK to Italy. As you can see, the, pop the tiles get populated with local content players from Italy. You've got Rai Play, you've got The Zone for Sports, you've got Rakuten for Movies, or you've got Tim Vision, which is an application from the largest telecommunications operator in Italy. We've got the same type of, a type of approach all over the globe. So regardless of what country you live in, the prominent exposure is given to the content that people consume the most. The best combination of local and global partners everywhere. 
Our approach of providing as much exposure to content instead of applications also created what are called content pillars. So we've got a pillar of sports, we've got one for music, one for all free content, and one for what is a special feature called Vida Art. Let me show you how Vida Free works like. Vida Free is an application that we've created, which is aggregating all free, meaning advertising supported content from various content partners on the platform. Because we have a special API for metadata exchange, we are able to recommend content on various parts of the platform, meaning additional exposure and additional ways of promoting your content to the end consumer. So this is Vida Free. What it does, if you look up here, it exposes through various content carousels, content from our CSPs. This one would be Junior UK Disney from YouTube. Then you've got One Direction movies, for instance, The X Factor, Britain's Got Talent, and various types of content. Again, everything's got a direct link behind it, which means one-click access and you can get straight to it. A very important feature, all the free content is accessible via direct access button on our remote controls, which is labeled simply free. We've also created Vida Art in cooperation with Deviant Art, the largest social network for digital artists. With one click of a tile on our launcher or just clicking the remote control direct access button, you get access to the largest library of digital art in the world. We're talking over 300 million pieces of digital art. So your TV doesn't have to be a black slob on your living room wall. You can actually turn that giant, beautiful piece of glass into a virtual art gallery. You can easily navigate through the entire library that they have. You can select any art that you want. You can put that art as a screensaver. You can put it static, or you can even do a slideshow, which means that you're gonna continually getting new pieces of art. You can favorite the art, you can select the types of art that you like, and you can even display your own art if you have it stored inside of your DeviantArt account. Vida Art is also about giving back to the artist community. On the main launcher, we've got the Daily Deviations, today's community spotlight, where we are exposing artists and giving them an option to promote themselves and get themselves known to, to a very, very large crowd of Vida users. So when you select any piece of art, you've also got an option to know about the artist. Click on it, you're gonna get a special QR code. Scan it with your mobile phone and you're gonna get access to data about the specific artist, their entire library, or even support them by buying pictures or any other merchandise that they might sell. It's a great way for you to connect to the artist community, which is providing this amazing 300 million pieces of art rich library. So what is new and better in a nutshell with the new Vida U4? First of all, the home launcher is much more content-centric than the previous version. It exposes the content from various content partners, making access to content much easier, much nicer, and discoverability much better for the end consumer and the content partners themselves. Second of all, it's technologically more advanced. It is way more adaptable. It features voice controls, and it allows for voice searchability across the entire platform. Because we've integrated all content partners with metadata capability, that means that we can do universal search. Again, exposing content, bringing it in front of the user. Next thing is one-click access. Not only are applications available via a simple click, the content is available via simple click as well. We've also incorporated direct access buttons for several applications, not just global, but also local. And thirdly, it is about pillars, Vida Sports, Vida Music, Vida Free, and Vida Art. It is our role as a platform to make sure that users have the best way of accessing content the way they want it, with as little clicks as possible and the stuff that they like. So this is the new Vida U4, it's launching globally right now. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact us or find the dealer closest to you. Alexa, turn off TV. Okay. Thank you for your attention. Vida, it's all about you.